Hey guys, it's Virtual Valerie, and I am here with pickups video number 13. I have so much stuff to show you. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a pickups video, and it's just been piling up the stuff that I've purchased. I've it's retail stuff, it's yard sale stuff, pawn shops. Denver Comic Con, there's all kinds of stuff to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and start with some of the toys and collectibles that I've picked up. The first thing I'm going to show you is a stuffed animal that I got from a yard sale. It is a show pony for Cabbage Patch Kids. I don't even have a Cabbage Patch Kid to sit on him because I haven't picked one up yet. You would think that I would have already picked up a Cabbage Patch Kid because I I look up because all my toys are up there, but uh, I hoard toys, but I don't have a Cabbage Patch Kid. I want to find the one that I originally had, which is this like little ginger one, and I'll, I'll pick up that one when I see it. But I did pick up the show pony, and he slash she, I'm not going to push a gender on it, whatever it wants to be, was only $2. So yay for that. Yay. The next stuffed animal I picked up was from Jerps93. He sent me, in a trade, he sent me Dizzy Devil from Tiny Toons. Look at Dizzy Devil. Can he spin? Spin it. So yay, I'm so happy with this. I don't remember what I traded for it. I think I sent him a Ninja Turtle or something. But yay, I love Tiny Toons. Yay. That didn't work out. So the next stuffed animal I got was from GameStop during their clearance sale. He was 97 cents and he's Fox McCloud. Look at. <sighs> Hello. Fox McCloud from Star Fox. And he was 97 cents. And I already said that, so that was a great deal. Alright, from a garage sale. This is the same garage sale where I got the pony. I got a bag of Care Bears. There's a whole bag of them. And they were a dollar. So it's a really good deal. I think I think these go to like a checkers or chess or something. I don't play either of those games so I don't know the difference. <laughs> one of them has queens and kings and horses and one of them has just like circles. So yeah, I got this. I think they're to a game. I don't know but I'm just going to set them up in my Care Bear area. Care Bear area. I'm going to set them up over there. They're going to be amazing. Yay! Next item that I picked up from, this is from a pawn shop. This pawn shop was having a great sale. Uh, a lot of the items were like 40 to 60% off. So this guy was 40% off. So he was normally $40. And you could do the math because I'm bad at math. Um, it's a Vampire Hunter D figure. It's not in there, I promise. It's right here, so I'll show it to you. I would I would never throw that. Oh. Look at this figure. Can you see his face? You got to admit, he's pretty badass. He's fucking awesome. I used to really dig this anime back in the days. Back in the days when I was young. I was like, I wasn't that young. 18. So back in like 2003, 2004. This is cool. Say it ain't so. Alright. Next two items I picked up were from GameStop today. So from what I was told by an employee, these aren't even out yet. This store is just stupid and puts things out before they're supposed to. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Look at these awesome Pixel Pals. Harley and Joker. These are awesome. Alright, we're putting them over there. We're not going to throw them. The next items are from Best Buy. I saw these figures and I had to have them. Can we avoid the glare? Look at these. Classic Sonic and Classic Tails. Oh yeah. Amazing. This was from Target. 
It was on clearance for a dollar forty-eight. Normally four ninety-nine. It's a pin, and it's Mario. Can you see it? Oh, there he is! Yay! If I throw this, I'll never find it again. <laughs> uh. All right, I picked this amazing pop-up. Pop-up. <laughs> I picked up this awesome pop from Denver Comic Con. Sweet Tooth from Twisted Metal. Can you see him? He's fucking awesome. I'm not going to throw him. This next guy I picked up from Walgreens for like, I don't know, $5. Who cares? It's so cute. It's the 8 bit white link. Kind of racist. This Dorbs was also from Walgreens. It is Iron Spider. Iron Spider is cool. Not gonna throw it. You know what? I am gonna throw it. I picked up some little metal dudes from Walmart because they were 97 cents each. Okay. So these are like little metal figs, nano metal figs. There's Harley Quinn, there's Carnage, yeah, there's Hulkbuster, yeah, that one's badass, and then I picked up Black Costume Spider-Man, yep, I'm happy with those. This was picked up from Denver Comic Con. Check out this awesome Harley Quinn. Isn't she badass? Look at here's the back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's cool. The next item that I picked up was also from Denver Comic Con. And it is a pop Mr. Snuffleupagus. Snuff? Snuffleupagus. Snuffleupagus. Yeah. I don't want to throw him. Because I really like him. Snuffy! So yeah, that's it for toys and collectibles. Let's move on, shall we? The next item is going to be a piece of clothing from GameStop for $4.97 and it's a pair of boxers. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Got these for my husband. They have Harley Quinn and the other bombshells and they're cool. If you like those, go get yourself a pair. The beanies were like a dollar each. They're Think Geek beanies from GameStop. See, here's the Think Geek monkey. I like beanies, so yeah. And then here's one that just says Think Geek. Yay. Remember, I live in Colorado, so beanies are life out here. I need beanies. Plus, like, look at my hair. Beanies hide this normally. Kind of. Not really. We are now going to move on to movies and such. And then after the movies, we'll do the video game stuff. So, I picked up Rugrats Season 1 and 2. What, 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 what? If you're wondering where I got these, they're from Walmart. They were like $10 and $12. Totally worth it. There's those guys. Oh no. I just knocked over my Tetris lights. All right. Also from Walmart, Friday the 13th, 8 movie collection. Why did I pick this up? Because I've been playing Friday the 13th and now I want to watch the movies. So there's that. Next item is Rick and Morty season one. I already have season two, so there's season one. Also, I picked up the Addams Family Complete series. I want to say this was $20, and that's why I picked it up. Marked down from like 50 or 60 or something crazy. I was like, wow, that's a good savings. And the last movie item that I picked up was Power Rangers Seasons 1 and 2 also about $20 if I remember correctly. Best Buy. 
Best Buy. Let's move on to video games. Yay! All right. So, I picked up Crash Bandicoot for the PS4. Some of you already know that I have this because I played it online. I streamed it live. So yes, I had that. I picked up Cave Story for the Switch. I picked up Injustice 2 for the PS4. Injustice 2. So the next item I'm going to show you was from a garage sale today. For two whole dollars, I got these uh, PlayStation Move controllers and uh, the stand chargey thing, but there's no there's no power for it, but I'm sure it's a five volt. I'm sure I can find one. So there's that. We're gonna put it back over here because there's no room. So the next few items I'm gonna show you are from a pawn shop that had a great sale today. Most of the items were 60% off, which was fantastic. This headset, I needed a headset for my uh, PlayStation 4 so I could game and talk to you guys while I live stream. Um, this headset was normally 15, I wanna say I got it for like seven or some shit. So there's that guy. And then I got four games and I paid $5 for all four of them. I got Frogger's Adventures. There we go. And it's the uh, Temple of the Frog. That's the one it is. I got Crash Super Pack. Crash Super Pack. I got Paperboy and Rampage. I think I already have this. But I'm not going to pass on it if it's included in this bundle for $5. And I got Turbo Turtle Adventure. Come on. Come on, camera. The camera doesn't want to zoom. There it is. Yeah. I also picked up. I'm not going to really. Sh I guess I can show you really quickly. I picked up another. PlayStation to Slim. Why, you may ask? Because I broke my last one. I was really sad that I broke it because I have a screen that attaches to it to make my gameplay much easier. So I had to bust out the fat um, to finish testing all my video games and I was really depressed. So I went out and bought another PlayStation 2 Slim and it was like $25. That's not bad. Here's another item I picked up from that pawn shop that had the great sale. I finally got my hands on a backwards compatible PlayStation 3. Ugh. Ugh. Here it is, guys. It's a 60 gig. Oh, I paid $100 for it. And it came with a controller. And I'm really happy because I want to be able to put away my PlayStation 2. And I don't know why, but I've just wanted a backwards compatible PS3 for so long. I finally have one. Hopefully it doesn't break on me anytime soon. Yay! Guys, last but definitely not least on my pickups, I saw this guy at GameStop and I was like, yo, I've been wanting one of those. I want it, I want it, I want it. So I picked up this awesome Star Wars R2-D2 Xbox 360. It's so pretty. How pretty it is. Whoa. I didn't need a 360. I have a 360. But Space Mannequin convinced me to get that. And he bought my old 360 off me. To make it a much sweeter deal. And it came with the controller. That's everything guys. That's my pickups video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, this. I don't know. Major day. Go a little better. Because you're like. Yo. Valerie's stupid and she wastes her money and I feel better about my life watching her waste her money on stupid shit. I don't know how I feel about that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. And as always, peace the fuck out. Are we recording already? Oh, fuck. Hefty? Hefty? Heavy? Hefty? Okay. 
Next item. 